this is a topic I have been focusing on recently and especially looking forward to 2019 and planning my goals and all that kind of stuff. It's a great time. I always think September has that like new year vibe still. So it's a great time to take a step back and look at your goals for the year and perhaps look at some things that you want to address before the year is done. And for me, that has been money and money mindset. So I've always been really good with money. I've always been very good at saving, um, not overly, you know, not overspending. I'm very cautious of money, but I also enjoy money like most people do. So I wanted to talk about my experience with this book today. This is You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. And this book really dives into unpacking and processing and like going through your money mindset and perhaps some beliefs that might be holding you back. And a lot of things have come up for me around guilt to want more money or feeling like having, like wanting to earn a lot of money makes me a bad person. That might sound ridiculous to some people. Um, and it's it sounds ridiculous to me as well, but for some reason I have this guilt around earning a lot of money and it's holding me back. So that's something I'm really diving into. I think whenever you reach crossroads in your life, in your business, in your career, where it's like you need to go to that next level, you have to take these steps back to assess some things that aren't serving you anymore. It's okay to grow and it's okay to let those beliefs evolve and let them transform into something else. So I know that the more money I earn, the more impact I can have because the more clients I'll be working with, literally I'll be earning more money because I'm working with more clients. The more I can reinvest in my business, the more I can reinvest in free things like doing free content, giving to charity, being able to go and travel to the US to interview guests on the podcast, whatever it might be, you know, thinking small or thinking big into the future. It's, I think it's okay to re to get quite specific on what money can bring you and it's not that money as a physical thing brings you happiness, it's that what that money will allow you to do. And something I've mentioned on the podcast and I've mentioned on here, I don't, I don't want to be a millionaire, you know, I don't want to be a billionaire, <laughs> I don't want to be on the Forbes like 30 under 30 list or whatever if that happens cool but and that might change but I'm also coming to terms with the fact that it's it's okay to want money and it's okay to want more money and it's okay to be motivated by money and money is such a personal topic and it's so intertwined with so much emotion and belief and for a lot of people guilt and shame around money and how they feel about it so if anything <laughs> if you've listened to this rumble and you take away anything from today's video read this book if you are struggling with anything i mentioned scarcity versus abundance so scarcity is developed from fear or lack or that guilt or shame and abundance it comes from a place of abundance abundance means you know there's enough for everyone and trying to be positive and make a positive difference even just being really thankful so gratitude for me is abundance so being grateful for every single pound that comes into your bank account when you get paid be so grateful for your job when you hopefully you like your job <laughs> When I get paid from clients, I'm just like blown away that someone is paying me to help them and they're putting their trust in me to support them on their journey. And that is why I get out of bed every morning. And it's not like it goes back to, it's not just about the money, it's about what the money means. If this is something you struggle with too, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've read the book too, let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you wanna see next on YouTube. 
listen to the podcast, check out the blog, join the email list. There's so much to dig into outside of YouTube, but I am going to be uploading more. So let me know what videos you want to see and I will see you next time.